Uh, so here it is. We got an Anytone Quad 6 brand new radio that was purchased. This was one of the uh, ready to go ones or tuned and ready. Here's the box for it. Brand new radio. Um, sold a bunch of these in the past. Probably going to sell a lot of them in the future. They are dynamite in a small package. Unfortunately, this one came back customer return. So obviously never liked to hear that. I never liked to see that. And uh, I'm going to look at what the customer said here. Upper side band, 45 watts PEP. Lower side band, 45 watts PEP. AM, 70 to 75 watts PEP. Okay, well, for a tuned and ready one of these, that is below expectations. So we want to dive into this thing and uh, see what it's doing. Um, we'll test the output of it on the bird back here, and then we will uh, look at it on the clamp meter and see how much kind of see how much current that it's drawing. Uh, we'll run the RF power all the way down. We'll run the RF power all the way up. We will test it on AM and sideband. Now, this is not a stock radio, okay? Uh, it's not supposed to be. So, uh, the output on this thing is going to be much higher than what you see out of your stock Anytone Quad 6. I do have a stock one sitting back here behind me uh, that we could hook up for comparison. But this is not supposed to be a stock radio. Should see a good bit of power out of this thing. Um but let's just check it out and see what it does here. Uh, first thing I want to do is turn the variable wide open. We are on AM and we've got a 100 watt slug or element in here. Our mic, we've got a, our superstar mic had a wire come loose in it. So we're on a Cobra coffin mic here. So you might see it pop and snap a little bit. Oldie. Oh, now this is average power, guys. Okay. Now the numbers he told me, I'm assuming he was supposed to be reading these on PEP. Um, but it's possible that he was reading them on average. Now, if he was telling me 45 watts average and 70, 75 watts average, I'd say, okay, that's what it's supposed to do. They do a lot of average power. So 20 watts or 18 watt dead key. Audio. I mean, heck, this thing's doing 80 watts average. Peak kit's not on. Audio. And that's on AM with the carrier all the way up. Now what I'm going to do is turn the day key all the way down. Audio. 70, 75. Audio. Audio, audio. 70 watts, somewhere give or take. Now that's average power. PEP, this is with RF power all the way down. Audio, one, two, three. Audio, one, two, three. 100 watts plus. For kicks, let's just turn it wide open so that it draws on the clamp meter. Okay. Oh, yeah. 12 amps. 11, 12. Audio, audio, well, 10, 11. Now we are at 14, 8. So now what I want to do to see if it makes a difference, I want to go down to 13, let's do 13, 8. Okay, this is 13, 8. We're on AM, RF power still wide open. Audio, same thing, 80 watts average. Audio, 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 audio. Still 100 watts PP. So that checks the box for AM. We are definitely doing over 70 to 75 watts. Unless he had his meter on average, which I've got a feeling that he might have. So let's go to upper sideband. And we'll just run it with the RF power wide open. Um... We'll leave it at 13.8, 13.9. Go back to peak. This is peak on sideband. Check, check, audio. Check, check, audio. Check, 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 audio. Check, 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 audio. Check, 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 audio. 80 watts. So it is doing a little bit less on sideband. It's still doing 80 watts. Lower sideband. Now keep in mind that's... Voltage is at 13.82. We'll turn the voltage up here in a second, see if it comes up. 
Uh, lower sideline, audio, one, two, three, audio, 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 Current draw, audio, audio, eight amps, nine amps. So let's, uh, let's go on back up to 14.8 where we were at on AM initially. These things do a crap ton of average power. I think I've talked about that before, but man, they are, they are wicked. That's why you have to be careful with these, driving them into something. If you turn that RF power up, especially, and the average is hanging around way up there, um, you can you can overdrive something with these if you're not careful. So I, that's why I recommend like a six pill or something to give them a little bit of headroom. Uh, we're still on lower sideband. RF power is still wide open. Peak kit still turned on. Check, check, audio, check, check, audio, 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 90. Hello, audio, audio. Eight, eight and a half amps. Let's go. Upper side band. Audio, one, two, three. Audio, one, two, three. Audio, 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 audio. Almost 90. So this one is doing uh, what all of them do when they leave here. I'm not sure uh, what's going on with the customer's meter. I've, I've got a feeling that he had it on average power. Um, I've, I've just got a real feeling that, that he had it on average power. Now, obviously, if this thing was showing 100 watts PEP and it was drawing like three amps over here, then I'd say, well, damn, I guess my watt meter is not too accurate, but... <laughs> It's drawing over 10 amps and uh, doing some good power, you know, eight, nine amps on sideband. It does do a little bit more on AM than sideband. Uh, it's generally how these have been turning out. They do about 90 on sideband and 100, 105, 110 on AM. So, um, but this is a far cry from 45 watts PEP and uh, 75 watts PEP. Let's check it on sideband average. Um, it's possible that he had, like I said, he was checking on average power. So this is on upper sideband and the peak gets off. Audio. Man, I'm telling you, I think he had his meter on average. Audio, 50 watts. Um, let's go to lower sideband. Audio. Audio. Those numbers, guys, they just, they run, it's just too big of a coincidence that on average power, um, it's showing 50 watts on sideband, and on AM, it's showing, you know, 80 watts, 75 watts, and according to his notes, it was weak on sideband and AM. Um, he said 45 watts PEP on both sidebands and 75 watts PEP on AM. And uh, lo and behold, on average, we're showing 50 watts on sideband and 80 watts on AM. So I think he had his meter set in the average power position. Uh, either that or his meter is very, very, very inaccurate. Like I said, this radio is drawing too much current. Too much power to be you know doing any less it's it's legitimately doing that much power um but i that's gonna be my recommendation to him is, is to double check and make sure that his meter uh, wasn't set to average instead of pep because pep this thing is is really getting with it it's doing basically uh well not hardly double on am but it's doing over 100 pep on am and it's doing uh, 90 80 to 90 pep on sideband so that's it, guys. Uh, one down and a couple more to go. Like I said, uh, I, I'm not ashamed to do these return videos and, and try to help people out. Maybe somebody can learn something from it. Um, but this one's good to go. This Anytone Quad 6, this is as stout as any of them that have left from here. Uh, if not, a little stronger. So um, I'm going to see what he wants to do, how he wants to proceed, I guess, and uh, go from there. But this radio is it's a okay any tone quad six freaking dynamite in a small package 
uh, average power powerhouses. All right. Thanks, guys. Rooster in Tennessee. See you. Bye.